Okay, we're going to start here with a flexible bag file. You're going to see I can apply a structure to the bag and you can see it inside of 3D, but there's no material or anything on that bag. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a plastic film to it and you can see the shininess of that plastic film straight away from the lights reflecting on the ceiling. I can apply the first printed stage, which in this case is a white printed spot colour. And on top of that, I'm going to apply the process colour to it. You can see that immediately on screen. And as you turn the bag around, you can see the effect of the lights playing against that. I can start adding my Pantone colour to that. I've got a Pantone orange in here, which is going to paint the top of the bag and the sides there. And now I can add the, my other brand colours from my logo. And I can add the all over matte spot UV varnish to the job. So you can see the effect of the matte varnish, but I want the panels on the front and back to appear glossy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another effect to there. I'm going to go for a gloss spot varnish and I'm going to apply it to one of the masks that I've, already, or, that I've already got in my PDF file. And that's going to apply that to the front side and the back side there. And you're going to see yeah, that looks nice and shiny against the rest of the matte carton. The final effect I'm going to put on there is an emboss, which is going to emboss the seals on the top and bottom. You're going to see that in just a second. So uh, here we're seeing pretty much our final de finalized design. And if I zoom in and just move it up a bit, you're going to see even see the ceiling on the on the base of the file there as well. Pretty clever. So bring it back in there. And that's it. That's our finished design in bag form. But uh, what about if we want a box form? Here, I'm going to start with a box file. I'm going to load in an RTS CAD file to give me my structure. Again, I can put a paper on it. This time, I'm just going to go with it like an uncoated board. You can see the die cut. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a window to my box. I'm going to put a plastic film window. So I'm going to look through my materials library here built inside the visualizer mm -hmm. and choose a plastic film window. And again, I'm going to look inside of my PDF file and pick up on a mask that I made before actually in Adobe Illustrator. So it's going to apply that to the center of the box there and you're going to see it straight away. There we are. And you can even see the shininess and the reflectiveness of the plastic film window really simply. And if we wanted to modify that window, we just have to change our mask in Illustrator. So again, I can see 3D using the 3D image from Adobe uh, uh, Illustrator that was created through RTS CAD. And I can apply on there my screen printed white color. You can just see that on the window there. That's going to be the backer to my process color. So just apply the process color. And you're going to see the, uh, the same image come in on the top there. There we are. You can see because we put the screen printed white behind it, it's showing up nice and strong, just like you would do in a real printed job. Again, I can apply my uh, Pantone colors. See the orange come in, and I'm going to add my brand colors as well. And just the creasing effect, so I can see the, uh, the effect it's going to have on the pack of creasing. And there you see the, the finalized box. So really, you know, if we want to make a choice between a box and a bag, we're going to be able to do that very simply using the same artwork, just applying different structural files to make an educated decision on that file. Again, can zoom in and really see the effect here of, uh, of my file. So you can see I'm inside of a 3D uh, virtually lit environment. We've actually captured this from a supermarket. And I can even move my product around and position it on the shelf if I, uh, if I wish to do that. And you see the whole lighting is, the environment is taken from that supermarket. Uh, we can also move into other environments as well. We mapped quite a few inside of there. So I'm going to go and grab one now. First of all, first one I'll take is the airport. And you see the whole effect of the pack has changed completely for the different design. I'll even take it outside. You can see it on a hillside here. And you can see very different lighting on the design. And you can pick from the library that's inside there to get the one that's exactly right for you and to show your design off perfectly. You can even kind of move it around, position it so the light plays on it right. I'm going to take it back into the supermarket. And I like that lighting, but I don't want to use that background effect on my finished design. Maybe I'm working for a different supermarket. So the first thing I might want to do is just put a plain color behind the back there, you know, to just position my design. But what I'm going to do here is actually just load in a JPEG image that I took maybe with my digital camera. Is one I actually just got off the web 
of just a generic store and it's going to lay that in behind the design still going to use the lighting from the environment that we picked but we can put any design any image we like behind the back there just um, just so we can show the design off in the right environment I'm just going to tile it up so I've got both products there alongside of each other and you can really see the effect um, and we can use that to position whether we want a box or a bag so we proof this design digitally on screen saving valuable time to market using Esco Artwork Visualizer